Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to a brand new Juicy React. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we have 1956. We're taking it back a few years. Wow, get okay? in your time machine, guys. This is 200 years ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 1956. <laughs> High school exchange student. One day it will be 200 years ago. It High will. school exchange students in the USA debate on prejudice. And there's a kid from the Philippines, a kid from Japan, a kid from the UK, and a kid from Indonesia. And Indonesia. 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 <laughs> and we have been sent this video several times. Yeah. We also noticed one of our friends' reaction channel uh, happiness. Was it happiness? Crossing, that's their other YouTube channel. You're getting it wrong. Happy, Happy reactions. reactions. How um, can you get that wrong? I noticed they also did this, but I haven't watched their video because we never like to watch something before we actually react to it because yeah. it would defeat the whole point. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, if you're new around here. <laughs> I wasn't finished, Lucy. Oh, sorry. A lot of you have requested that we watch this today, so that is exactly what we're going to do. It's a long one, so we might split it into like part one and part yeah. two. Can I continue? Please, please. The floor please, is please. mine. Yes, yeah. Thank you very much. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've got any other reaction requests you'd like us to react to, please send us a message over on our Instagram. What are you doing to my chair? You're so annoying. George is in an annoying mood, I think, today. So It's lockdown. I'm restless. He's restless. I'm restless. Lucky you get to just watch a nice video now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Nightmare. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, if you're new around here, we're currently in Manila. We're currently in lockdown. We create other vlogs of our lives on our other channel. The Juicy Vlog is linked below. You might want to check it out. You might not. I wouldn't blame you. Three, two, one. Welcome to our forum discussion on the roots of prejudice. Love the voice. We're talking about what our prejudices are, where they yeah. came from. Interesting topic as well. Like, how do people about, feel about this? How to get rid of them. The Let 50s. me introduce you to the core student participants in today's discussion. Sorry. Look at that guy's haircut in the UK. Ratnati Iskandar Dinata, high school student, 17 years old, and also a talented dancer from Indonesia. Oh, she looks sweet. From Japan, Aww. Yoriko Konishi, whose lovely voice you've just heard. From time to time, we like you to get a sense of what we do in all those times when we aren't having serious discussions. We very often get Yoriko to dance or sing for us. She does both. <coughs> From the United Kingdom, 18-year-old Judith Reader. Judith's got a bit of a it's cold today. Oh, it's a girl. Not My bad. To swimming in the Atlantic <laughs> I couldn't ocean, see. I couldn't she see. She that when she's in England, she does swim in the ocean during the winter. That explains the heck. <laughs> Raul from Paris. Raul will be 16 years old, patriotically enough Swap. on the board. They all look love. younger. Uh, he, he does not look 16. Too. The first one did not look 17. Look at that suit, though. I know. Women, or he wouldn't have been willing to appear tonight with... He looks like something you see on Instagram now. He looks like a crypto program. trader. <laughs> now, on this question of prejudice, perhaps we ought to start out by uh, trying to define what you think prejudices are. What do you think prejudice is, Ratnati? Uh, I think prejudice is a feeling of hate of people as a group or individual toward uh, other people. You see a feeling of hate. Do you think prejudice is as strong as hate? Yes. Oh, when yeah. there's somebody, if he has a prejudice, then the answer will be, I hate such and such. Well, I, I suppose that just is What do you think prejudice is, Eureka? Is it like not a judgment, judgment, isn't it? A judgment. Yeah, yeah a judgment. Somebody that. distinguish between two white men. It is not prejudice. But if somebody distinguish between a white man and a colored man, it is prejudice. Mm. I would define prejudice as uh, a rigid opinion formed about a certain thing uh, before there has been a just examination of the facts. Don't when judge a person by its cover. Track of the uh, dignity of the human soul and begins to judge others not on the basis of his their voice. Why is his voice the best voice I've ever heard? On the basis of race, creed, economic status, that is prejudice. I want well, to sound like him. Nice Insane. You prejudices? <gasps> well, I guess so, Mrs. Waller. And uh, being brutally frank, I am, I'm a, well, prejudiced against Japanese. Well, not to the extent that, that uh, I hate them. No, not that way. But uh, I got this, well, as a result of World War II. Because, His well, I guess deep. I was yet too young to understand uh, They're what They're only 10 happened years out of World War II. But yeah. uh, I think that what my relatives and friends and the people who were witness to that uh, unfaithful occasion, well, they just uh, more than justify the fact. And uh, I think uh, it's justified for me to feel the same way because, well, I know that my people suffered very much under that rule. You still have prejudice against It depends against where you're brought up, I guess, and what you're brought well, up around. It's a difficult ago, one. It's really hard because it's got uh, nothing to do with her. No, uh, I know. You know yeah. Slightly really fading difficult. away. But when Japan uh, stubbornly refused to pay reparations to us, well, the prejudice began to brew again. 
But now I found out from close contact with Yuriko and other Japanese that Japan isn't ready to pay reparations yet. Because as Yuriko said, uh, some of them and most of them even have to suffer the, the cold in the uh, classrooms because they can't afford to heat the schools. Um, Yuriko, you've got so it's not until you speak to them that you understand well, them as well. I don't have any prejudice for Philippines, but <laughs> many Japanese people hate Korea because um, the president of Korea made the line, his own line, on the public sea between Korea and Japan. And uh, if the Japanese fishermen uh, go over the line, the, they, were, they are caught by Korean people and they can't go, go home for a while. And we are trying to be a friend um, for Korea. Now that we've started, we better go on around the circle. All these Judith, different worlds, it's crazy, it's crazy isn't it? Interesting. Yes, I suppose I'd better admit, admit them, although I'm English. Uh, I have some very foolish prejudices, you'll probably laugh. For instance, uh, as soon so as much. I meet a person with red hair, I always put myself on my guard because uh, I have a silly prejudice oh. that all red-headed people have terrible tempers, you know, that they're as passionate oh. as possible. How dare Another silly prejudice, sir. For example, when I first met the Australian delegate, Elizabeth Woodgate, who hasn't been on tele television, um, I was shocked by her accent, because to me it sounds just like a Cockney accent, would in England. And uh, I hope I'm not conceited or anything, but uh, a, a Cockney accent in England, you know, most English people would shudder a little bit when they hear it. But she very frankly told me that she shuddered when she heard my accent. <laughs> I can't really, I, I can't really say that. Why did she say that? But it's years ago, oh, I isn't think it? She imagines that. Uh, Why do you shudder? She really had to forget my accent in order to like me, because uh, it's. It was oh, too she formal. had it the other way around. Most Americans think about that about the English as well. So. <laughs> that is a very English formal English accent. accent. Yeah. You can't hate like someone because of that accent. accent. I know. The Judas against the Dutch people. When in in school, when I learned the history and learn how the Dutch people treated Indonesian. And I have some other prejudices of my own. But uh, I hate people who were proud and uh, who feel that he is the master of the, the other people and who thinks that he knows everything than anybody else. Mm. Let's come back to you a minute, Ralph. Person, Are there any prejudices in the Philippines between groups of people? Yes, uh, there are existing uh, prejudices between groups of people. As a matter of fact, uh, most of us still, well, are prejudiced against uh, a group of hybrids, those who have more Spanish blood than Filipino blood in them, and we term, term them as uh, mestizos. Well, it, uh, the, uh, well these uh, incidents uh, well, usually occur in the schools. As you know, I'm in, in a school run by uh, Spanish monks, and... Uh, well, we have a lot of uh, we, we have a lot of those uh, of that group studying in our school, and usually they are they are favored. But uh, we think, and uh, well, we think that we are right in saying that they are sort of aristocratic, conceited, and high-headed high and sore-headed, and all sorts of adjectives. And they have the uh, the foolish idea that they have uh, the royal blood or royalty in them. This guy speaks so well. How do you get along with these boys in school, Raoul? Are there any problems? Well, well, frankly speaking, I don't get along with them pretty well. As a matter of fact, well, we usually fight with it with one another. Oh, it's a shame. Isn't it? Okay, we're going to stop it there because we're going to do a part two if you guys yeah. want the part two. So let us know. I'm actually really, I was getting into that a lot, so I want to do it. I don't want to. Prejudice watch is it. a funny thing, isn't it? Because it's I think it's it it's, makes no sense. Imagine if you're brought up being told like before social media, this is you can't That's form true. any of your own opinions if your family and everyone close to you yeah. is telling you this group of people are a certain way. Then of course, if you're brought up with that and you've got no proof of it being otherwise, and or you haven't met the people, you mm -hmm. haven't travelled because it's a long time ago. Not many people would have travelled. And that's that how far. these things survive. And that's why social media is good at making change, yeah. I think. Yeah, and, and you get to awareness. learn about other cultures and then I think, uh, is there less prejudice now? Or is it enhanced because of social media? I don't, I don't know. know. But, but I think both. Yeah. Well, let us know your opinions on this in the comments. I think it's very interesting having an insight into the world in, when is it, 1956? Yeah, Crazy. very cool to watch. This really kid cool though, video. deep voice. Yeah. Intelligent, very, wise. <laughs> very intelligent, yeah. very well spoken. I think they cool. all are, really yeah. Cool. It's all so right. interesting hearing from four different countries that are so different. Yeah, all in um, one room talking about the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Very all cool right. video. Enjoyed that. Thanks if you sent this one in. Yeah. If you did, um, hope you enjoyed it. 
And yeah, let's let let's, us know for part two. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.